Morning Beaver Nation, Matt Boyd here. Time to take you through a day in the life. It's 5.15 a.m. Time to go to weights, here we go. This is routine, wake up, get yourself a little snack before weights. A little yogurt with some granola. A little bit of orange juice. And that is it. And then we're off the weights. 6 a.m. here in the weight room now. Got some guys doing some weird testing over here. Don't really know what all is going on, but uh, we did that stuff yesterday, so didn't have to be here 10 minutes early. But this is it. We're about to get after it here. We're going to Omaha begins. Let's talk right here. Before you get in too. Ready? No, I'm just pointing. <laughs> Record. Like I'm recording right oh, now. Recording right now. Mike, Post weights. Like right here with Mr. Michael Comforto, Mr. All America. Yeah. With the man. It's Nate Esposito. Got a good lift in. Oh, my bad. It was really great. Uh, thanks, Espo. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Nate Esposito right there. Not, a, not aware of his surroundings, but he's learning. He still acts like a rook sometimes, but he is learning. He is mature. He's not a rook. But yeah, we got a good lift in. Time to go get some grub. Road to Omaha, baby. So it's about 8 o'clock right now. Just got done here. Finishing lace in my glove. It broke a few days ago. Brand new leather. Nike got the hook up on us, but yeah, it's uh, broke so I had to relace it, so it's a little quick look in right there, it's nice. Time for breakfast. So we are Beaver Nation, it is 8.35 right now, and we got ourselves a little cooking up a goulash right here. Tony, what we got? We got some breakfast potatoes, some onions, some peppers, all mixed in with a little egg, some nice little scramble right good here. Good look at that right there. That is a goulash and a half. That's some good food. Got to fuel the body after that good lift right there. Got to feed the beast. Of course, beast mode. Just like Lynch right here. Yep, got to do it. So here we are with our final product right here. This fine meal. Getting ready for the big day. Got a busy day ahead of us. We got Bible study later on. Just getting a little... Review going. Well, we're gonna study the first book of John, or first seven books, chapters of John. And yeah, we got MLB Network on TV. This is just the setup. Great meal, God, and baseball. What else do I need? Yeah. We're going to class here with Big Tony Bryant. We got uh, intercultural communication. We got a presentation today on cultural artifact. And I took a little quabble, if you will, with Toadie, but what we want to do. I want to rep the 12th man as my cultural artifact. It's something that we're both a part of. You know, Seahawks 12th man and all, so let Tony have that one. Watch out, dude. Don't, don't step in that right now. <laughs> He's back and back with his recording me right now. It's pretty, uh, it's an entertaining shot right here on 12th Street, but yeah. So he's going with the 12th man, saying that he's a part of that culture, and I'm going with my faith. I'm going to start talking about that and how my faith is the culture, and it's something that's been passed down to me, something that's shared within everybody in my family. So, about 9.45, walking the class here, going to the infamous old Shepherd Hall for our comm class. Yeah. Catch you on the other side. A little follow-up. We're here in front of Shepherd Hall, and, you know, us baseball players at Oregon State, we're known to get after on the field of the weight room, but something that is not really known about us is that I also like to break a mental sweat. I'm gonna do that right now. Just got done with class here, walking into the stadium, get some individual work done. Here, Goss Stadium, home of the best fans of college baseball. Let's see what's Woo! going on in here. Oh, there he is right there, Mr. Nate Esposito. 420 steps from the corner of 23rd and campus to here. Oh boy, Espo, steps. working Tyler hard, baby. Zito. Let's catch it right there. All the best. Woo! What do we got going on in here? 420 steps. Nobody cares. We got the man right here. He's in charge of everything. Mr. Ron Northcutt, Mr. Ron Burgundy. Yo, this year we're signing my jersey. He's gonna bring about six grand, probably more. What's up, Bo? Ronnie, thirteen on Twitter. We got the man, Mr. Ryan Gordon. What's up, Gordo? I'm gonna sign that, that nasty ass. I'm gonna sign it. Just kidding. Time to get some work done. Right. Who's speaking to death? You ready for I some individual work? So hard. Start doing my little routine and 
Get yeah. after it. Alright. Just got our mental game on. A little Brian Kane meeting. We're pretty good. Winning that mental battle on the field, preparing ourselves. It starts the day. You got anything, Reese? Yeah, today I picked up uh, Thoughts Become Things. Oh so Throwback gonna, Thursday. We're going to go home and, and write down our, our, our short term and long term goals. And well, it's about 4 o'clock now. Just got back from the field, got a little work done, had a little camera malfunction in the middle of Reese's interview, and the uh, camera died. But we're back here now as I'm sitting here with Dan Child and Zach Reeser. They're playing a little, uh, little Halo. Fortunately, it's not COD. A little bad. And then we got Big Tony over there. Got this puppy relay. It's supposed to be. Yeah. First timer right there, lacing a glove. It's pretty good. Me though, not about this Halo train. About to get on something a little better than that. So, up here in my room now, and this is one of the toughest decisions of the day for me. Every day, picking a hat. It's a ball player, gotta love your lids. You know, always gotta rep the hometown squad right here. Some throwbacks, got the pilots. Old school Mariners, the Hawks, of course. It's a greasy old ball cap right here, old Seattle style, but oh, who can forget? The team that's now back in Seattle, hopefully. The Supersonics. But yeah, it's a tough decision of the day is to wear a hat, what hat to wear. I don't even match half the time either, so. As you can tell, I've already won three hats during this episode, but yeah, probably wear something they did tonight. That's it. all I got. So. On the field, it's not the only time I get my game face on. As you can tell right here, I put on clinics in Call of Duty, Black Ops. Doing some work right here. It's a big part of the day. Of course, after homework, make sure you get your homework done. All those young listeners at home, that's the big thing. But, you know what? That's what you gotta do. It's a big point. Luckily today you caught me on an off day where I actually got my homework done in advance. Didn't think that, uh, just that, that's not good. That, uh, you know, didn't want to see, didn't think Beaver Nation would like to see me doing homework, but I did get my studying done earlier today. Now, time for a little relaxation and get a little a few minutes of cod in. <laughs> just got done with a little Bible study with my man Dan Child, and now we're here with Forks, Mr. Wetzler, Reeser. Mr. Barnes, Panchito, Tone, the creature, Max Singlebreath, and Andrew Moore. A little red robin right here. It's time to get our grub. It's been a while, been like three times. Hey, Mr. Barnes, what happened here with uh, Dan Child? Dan is horribly in the water. Messy. In water. Like Atta boy, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Well, here at Red Robin, just finished our first round of fries here with Dan Alive, and uh, here with Max Singlebreck. Max is uh, one of our guys on our team. You know, rookie this year, freshman. He's a little goofier. <laughs> Obviously, he's a lefty, if you couldn't tell. And, uh, he's a sports fanatic. He knows everything about sports. Max, tell us a. Uh, Tell us one of your obscure stats about how uh, the Mariners are going to do good this year. Uh, well, we have a lot better run producers now. Really? Yeah. How, how are moving the fences in the safe field field going to benefit the Mariners in this season? It should make more balls go out of the yard. Man, a few words, yeah. So smart. So, um, maximum.